on the 2nd of October 2023, the United Nations Security Council approved the deployment of a multinational security support operation to Haiti. As a responsible member of the international community, Kenya gave indication of its availability to consider contributing to this act of international solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Haiti. Based on a thorough professional assessment and analysis, I want to confirm the readiness of our national police service to join in this international effort, subject to parliamentary approval, as provided for in our constitution. And in line with this, yesterday, the National Security Council endorsed the deployment, cabinet ratified the decision, and the executive has conveyed the request to parliament for consideration. I look forward to an expeditious consideration of this request in the light of the dire situation in Haiti. Unsurprisingly, and in view of our democratic nature, this matter has generated public interest largely informed and driven by some misconceptions and lack of information. Whereas some of the issues raised will be considered and canvassed in Parliament, I take this opportunity to respond directly to the people of Kenya on this matter. Among the questions and clarifications being sought include the claim that Haiti is miles away and does not constitute any interest for Kenya, and that our national police service will face insurmountable challenges in Haiti, such as language barrier, cultural difference, and unfamiliar terrain, that Kenya has internal security challenges which the National Police Service should first address before lending a hand to Haiti, and that the Kenya National Police Service lacks the requisite capacity or capability to address the Haitian security situation. This is on account that the other missions in Haiti have failed before. The mission is multinational in nature. The security mission to Haiti is mandated by a UN Security Council Resolution 2699 of 2023, which enjoyed unanimous approval. The resolution endorses Kenya to lead and coordinate this multinational mission. This vote of confidence underscores the, the stature of our nation as a respected member of the international community. Our participation in this mission contributes to our renowned anchor role in contributing to international peace and security, a commitment underscored by this administration. We have received very strong support from across the world as countries continue to make their contribution to this mission. In Africa, I have spoken to the President of Senegal, Burundi, Chad, among others, who have expressed commitment of their troops and support to this mission. We welcome also the pledge from Jamaica, Bermuda, Barbados, and Antigua from the Caribbeans. A number of other countries have expressed commitment to provide both equipment, logistical, and financial support for the multinational support mission. Kenya will therefore be part of a multinational global effort. Haiti and CARICOM is the sixth region of Africa, a mission for humanity. Importantly, we, as Kenya and Africa, have affinity with Haiti. Haiti is part of the African Union Sixth Region. This places a duty of care on every African country, just like we acted in concert to secure the freedom of the whole continent. Africa is keen to contribute 
to the freedom and security of Haiti. This explains the critical role of the three African countries in the UN Security Council in the negotiations leading up to the adoption of the resolution and the demonstrated commitment of support to this mission from African countries. Owing to our strong commitment to Pan-Africanism, we are leading the mission to Haiti in fulfillment of our obligation to Africa and its diaspora. Furthermore, the multinational security support mission is about the oneness of humanity and solidarity of the international community. It affirms the shared hope that the world has not forgotten the people of Haiti who have suffered untold calamities. The people of Haiti have borne the brunt of colonial plunder and repression, post-colonial retaliation and exploitation, suffered repeated geological, climatic, and epidemic disasters. The multinational security support mission, therefore, is an effort to restore the dignity of the Haitian people, the stability of their nation, and the prosperity of this African nation in the Caribbean. Kenya's commitment to peace and security, our value proposition for this mission is an impressive record of participation in peace support operations across the world. 46 missions in all since we got independence. Many of these in far-flung areas, including East Timor, Macedonia, Kosovo, former Yugoslavia, Sahrawi, Croatia, Namibia, Darfur, DRC. In every of these cases, we engaged different cultures, languages, and geographical circumstances. The case of Haiti is not different. Our participation has been professional and nonpartisan, giving confidence to populations of the countries where we have served and assisting in getting them on a path to sustainable development. Our National Police Service possesses the requisite experience and skills to undertake this mission, as demonstrated in their participation in the United Nations Iran-Iraq Observer Group, UNCTAG in Namibia, UNOSOM, UN PROFO, UNCRO, UNPSG, UN uh, in, in Croatia, UN ties, UNOMIL, UN prep -TEP in Macedonia, MONUA in, in Angola, UNCTAD, UNBI in East Timor, UNCTAD in Yugoslavia, UNMSL in Sierra Leone, UNMK in Kosovo, and AU missions in Darfur. Atmis in Somalia, and ICRAF in DRC. The deployment of the National Police Service to Haiti is informed by a careful balance of our national security priorities and capabilities, aided by a comprehensive analysis of the evolving security situation. To this end, we are engaged in consultations with a wide range of actors across the globe to ensure that we do not put the mission into harm's way. Based on the consultations, all measures will be taken to prepare and equip our contingent for success. This duty is being balanced with our national needs and the deployment shall not in any way compromise the capabilities of the National Police Service to continue guaranteeing public safety for Kenyans. I also see this, that in this mission, there is a unique opportunity to continue improving our nation's most critical asset, its human capital. This deployment will enable our officers to add and to improve and sharpen their competencies, skills, and experiences 
in providing security at home and even beyond our borders. Our participation in the multinational security support mission reaffirms the DNA of our nation. Our destiny is inextricably linked to the whole of humanity. This is why Haiti is important. Haiti is not far. Haiti is our business. The multinational security support mission will restore security to Haiti, will enhance the capacity of our national police force to serve humanity even beyond our borders, and will reaffirm our position of pride among the community of nations. I urge all Kenyans to support our national police service as it undertakes this noble duty of care as a responsible member of the international community. I thought of making this statement just to lay a foundation on the mission we are about to undertake. As I have said before, I am making this statement in the context that the people of Haiti, the international community, have reached out to us. They have reached out to Kenya through me to ask for support. Haiti is a country in need. A black African nation, just like us, far away because of the tragedy of what happened in our history with slave trade and everything in between. Today, the children of Haiti are not going to school. Today, women in Haiti cannot go to hospital. Today, many communities in Haiti cannot access social services. They are reaching out to us to support them. The choice of Kenya to provide this support was not by default. It wasn't through guesswork. Many countries identified us as a safe pair of hands, as a country with a rich history in peacekeeping, peacemaking, and peace operation, as a democratic country that has democratic credentials on how to handle situations like this, and with our experience. And as an anchor country already in our region that is anchoring the peace and security of our region. It is on this understanding that the UN Security Council made a resolution to authorize and facilitate the deployment of this multinational security support mission to Haiti. And Kenya has been mandated to lead the rest of the countries, many countries, that will be coming along with us to Haiti. Haiti will not be a Kenyan assignment. It is an assignment of many countries, a multinational support assignment that will be supported. Many countries will contribute men and women into the force. Many will contribute equipment. Many will contribute um, financially. And many will contribute in other ways to make sure that humanity, the people in Haiti, have a life and they too can enjoy the fruits of being human beings like us. Though the situation and the assignment is not easy, it is the very reason why we believe Kenya was chosen as to provide the leadership in this very difficult terrain because we have demonstrated time and time and again that we have the credentials 
to work with others, confront difficult situations, and provide solutions. I am very proud that we have earned our credentials as the people of Kenya in the 46 different missions that we have deployed ever since we became an independent country. And this is one such assignment that calls on the people of Kenya, on the leadership of Kenya, on our security agencies in Kenya to provide support and solve the security challenges that exist in Haiti, a country of black people like us. We cannot walk away from the men, the women, and the children in Haiti. It is a call of duty. It is in solidarity with humanity. It is in solidarity with our own flesh and blood. And that is why this mission is important. And that is why Kenya accepted, not just to participate, but to also provide leadership in this mission.